Hello and welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the format of writing a press release. So let me take you to the roadmap of my presentation. So first, I'll be dealing with the concept. Second, I will share with you the format of writing a press release or the elements that are required to include in a press release. And then I will explain to you the need of including a press release. And of course, I'll give you a sample. So let us go on to the first topic that is the concept. So press release is a document that is shared by companies or individuals via the news media in order to make an announcement or share an information about the company uh, to the audience. Now, the purpose of the press release is to inform the uh, audience about the existence of the company and about the information about the company or to make an announcement or even to launch a website or launch a new product. So as we can understand uh, that a press release is important from the perspective of the organization because they're communicating with the public and they, it is also important because they the public uh, gets to know about the company, gets more information about the company or understands uh, that the particular company is uh, dealing with this kind of product. So it is more of an advertisement about the company uh, that is shared via the press release. So having understood the concept, let us now move on to the format of press release. Let us understand what elements should be included while writing the press release. So first is we write the logo of the organization of the company uh, that comes at the top most part of the page. And uh, it is basically included in order to promote public recognition and also to raise awareness of the particular brand. So it is placed at the top of the page. Now, next is below the logo comes the date line. The date line is to inform the day of release of the information and it is placed under the logo. Next comes uh, that it is also should be on the left side of the press release. Then comes the contact information. Now this contact information is necessary so that the journalists, if they actually want to contact the particular organization or the company, uh, they can get in touch with them. So uh, uh, for further information uh, that they could share with the customers or with the audience. So this contact information comes underneath the logo. It is on the. It should be, be placed on the right hand side of the press release. And as I told you, it enables the journalist to contact the particular organization. Now let us move on to the next part of the format. So the next element is related to the headline and subheading. The headline should be a compelling headline so that it can draw the attention of the audience and it should be short and to the point. And uh, the subheading is of course optional. So you, the company might decide to include a subheading or they might decide otherwise. Uh, it is uh, the, both the headline and subheading is placed below the logo, the date line and the contact information. Now let us move on to the location and date. Uh, the location and date um, is included um, along with the lead paragraph. So before you write, write the lead paragraph or the main paragraph, you start with the location and date. And it is the location and date is separated by a dash. And uh, uh, when we uh, write the location and date, it should be written in bold. Um, and we also need to remember that the location should be written in all capital letters. So this is very important. So then comes the lead paragraph. So once we write the location and date, uh, then we move on to the lead paragraph or it is the main paragraph or it is also called as the introductory paragraph. Mm -hmm. So we start with the introduction and we include this uh, the questions while writing the introduction, introduction paragraph. So for example, if the company is launching a new product in the market, so the company will talk about what the product is about uh, and uh, why it is going to be useful to the customers, how it will be useful to the customers, or where the, where the customers can find this particular product, when the customers can, uh, uh, can uh, avail of this opportunity to buy the product. And all this information has to be shared in the introductory paragraph uh, while uh, writing um, you know, about uh, uh, launching of a product or while giving information to the public about the product. And uh, so this is the lead paragraph has to be written in a very uh, concise manner because it should give a quick idea uh, to the customers or to the audience about the particular product that they are trying to uh, inform the customers. 
So having understood the lead paragraph, let us now move on to the other paragraphs that should be included that will follow the lead paragraph. So the other paragraphs, even though they elaborate on the details, but nevertheless, it has to be short and it has to be to the point. So therefore, instead of including words, um, the most of the companies, they include the statistics and graphs, you know, in order to give um, uh, the feeling of an authentic information or in order to convince uh, the customers or the audience about the particular product or the uh, particular information that they are sharing. So it, in a way, it uh, keeps the audience uh, drawn towards the press release and uh, it also gives an authentic feel about the particular information. And uh, then comes the quotes. The quotes are important um, because, again, you know, you are actually trying to give more evidence about the particular product or uh, more evidence about the people who have used the particular product uh, that you're talking about or more evidence about um, the excitement of the people uh, towards a particular information. So the quotations are very important. It adds values to the content. I use double quotation marks, you know, while uh, including the quotes and the name and title of the person is also very important important when you're using the quotation marks. Uh, then comes the interactive elements. The interactive elements again gives the, organ, uh, the audience drawn towards the press release and the interactive elements actually help you know the press release to become more attractive and uh, it is more informative as well. So the interactive elements could be in the form of hashtags, it could be in the form of social media handles, it could be in the form of interactive images, downloadable infographics and the portable document files. So not only giving more information about the particular concept or the particular information that is shared by the company, it also in a way uh, keeps the audience attracted towards the press release. And this is something you know very is very important you know from the marketing perspective. So having understood this, let us now move on to the next part of the format that is about section. The about section comes at the end of the press release and it is about the uh, more information about the organization that is who are the employers, who are the <clears throat> You know the uh, who are the people who are there in the company, the influencers, and uh, all this information about the company. So um, the, it appears at the bottom of the press release, and it gives information about the company. And uh, you can we can also include a link to a website when we are uh, dealing with such information about the organization. Since it, it has to be less than 100 words, so a link to a website, if the people are interested, if the audience is interested to get further information about the company, so a link to a website will definitely um, help people uh, to gather more information about the company. And then comes the end notation. The end notation indicates that entire document has been assessed by the audience and uh, it is the end of the press release. So usually, as I told you, the press release has to be uh, short and to the point. So therefore, a press release is always written in one single page. But suppose if uh, certain information uh, needs, you know, uh, more space, so it might go on to two pages. And if it goes on to two pages, we need to include the word more and uh, then, you know, move on to help the audience or help the readers move on to the next page. So after this, we have the multimedia. So multimedia means uh, you could um, encourage the audience, you know, to go to the social media or the blogs in order to gather more information about the product or about an announcement of an event or, you know, any information that was being communicated with the audience. Uh, so uh, they provide additional coverage about the press release and uh, this can be very helpful for the audience. So having understood the format, let us now move on to the need of including a press release or the need and importance of writing a press release. Press releases are written in order to inform people. It is a way of informing the people. It is a way of communicating with the people. And uh, this is a, a very good way of communicating with the people. It is formal. At the same time, it uses all the uh, different you know, ways of making it interesting and, of course, making it more convincing to the customers. So the information could be dealing with uh, announcing an event or it could be with communicate, communicating with the audience about the organization or it could be to share business achievement with the customers or with the audience and of course it could also be to launch a new website. <clears throat>
So having understood the need, let us now move on to the sample uh, uh, press release. So here I have the company's logo. And as you can see, this is how a press release should look like. Uh, so we have the, uh, the captivating heading and uh, headline and the date uh, for, and we also write for immediate release. And then we write the most important interesting facts about a grand opening. The press and public are invited to the grand opening of the company on this particular date. The event will take place at, lo uh, with, uh, at location. So we name the particular place and uh, the time also we mentioned, the guest will be treated to this kind of activity, for example, food, promo, et cetera. Uh, so the quote from the owner, so we can uh, take a you know, quotation from the owner or add quotations from the owner, the influencer, the celebrity or the staff member expressing excitement about the grand opening. Uh, additional company information can also be added. More information on the company and the event can be found at company's website, social media pages, blog, etc. There's a boilerplate that is the background of the company's uh, founders, the influencers, and years of experience. So all this information has to be shared in the press release. So having said about this format, I hope you had a proper understanding of how to write a press release. I thank you all of you for your patient listening.